Hi there, Aries. Welcome to your end of August 2024 general tarot update. It's Raina here. I was I was thinking, oh my gosh, it's too late to do end of the month videos, but um, I think it can be okay because it goes into the next month as well. Just to give a flavor of the maybe the energies around and what is going on huh it's funny how uh, certain themes emerge okay Put these cards to the side. Oh. In my way. Alrighty then. So. The Nine of Wands is a card of boundaries. And it, another possibility, another possible interpretation is... You know, if you look at this woman's face, there's like a wary expression. And I, the English major in me, likes to lecture people about the difference between wary and weary, because I see that a lot online. I'm talking about being like on high alert about someone coming back trying to, you know, do something again. <laughs> Usually I think of narcissists in that, in that uh, context. But the thing is that there, there might be, you know, we're in the middle of a Mercury retrograde and, and that kind of thing can um, come about because Problem personalities, they tend to do that. They tend to, they're the one that tends to leave. And then the other person's devastated. And then they reappear. Right when you're starting to heal. And that is kind of the mind games that they play. So it's so important to be aware of what people are doing and why, because, um, that's one of the, um, ways that these sorts of people kind of throw your life in chaos because they're throwing your mind in chaos. And sometimes it's hard to just really understand this because they're they're doing all these things that that uh, are confusing or contradictory in any case there may be at least one person in your life that you have to kind of make clear what you're willing to tolerate and what you you're not willing to tolerate and that can even be on the job. Um, in the past position, we have the Queen of Cups. It's a very psychic energy. So it, it can even be within yourself that, you know, if you see yourself as empathic, where you do tend to be quite um, vulnerable to other people's energy. And, you know, Aries is right next to... Pisces. Your moon sign can be anything. Your rising sign can be anything, but your, um, but you know, like if you have Mercury and Pisces, Venus and Pisces, Mars and Pisces, these kinds of placements can make you empathic, especially if your moon is in water sign and that can lend itself to, um, taking on other people's energy or if your sun is in the 12th house or your moon is in the 12th house. And so they talk about setting energetic boundaries. 
so that so that people are able to coexist with others who may be going through some kind of a crisis or whatever and you are are able to still maintain a, a sense of separation from that and if you work in some kind of a field um this card is this is like a psychic kind of an energy but it could even be i feel like it could be like so a social worker a some sort of therapist that you know those kinds of fields um you have to do it because it's probably affecting you very strongly the higher message is the two of pentacles this can be suggesting that you are you know making a switch maybe starting your own business or even like starting training for something else if this is something that has been quite difficult for you a lot of people might not even under uh understand that that's what is bothering them or creating um some sort of complications in their life also another thing about the queen of cups it can be an artistic type of um influence too so that might be something that you're considering uh, adding to your life maybe working towards something and so the nine of wands in terms of boundaries uh, when we have goals we have to be very vigilant about other people and how they are you know making demands on us and whatever um because that could that could cause um problems with uh, being able to have enough time to pursue our goals but also the queen of cups can be the mo being a mother um oh you know it, it it might be in some cases your own mother um especially if she's a water sign cancer scorpio or pisces but and and i will say if you're you're a uh, an aries and you have a mother who's a water sign you may notice a dynamic between the two of you where you where she puts cold water on your fire where she may say oh that's unrealistic you can't do that that's not going to work and you know because they say that water that water puts out fire but also then i read someone who said that fire causes steam to water so in other words steam would mean that the person gets angry and it's i thought that was hilarious because i think that there is some truth to that there's a lot of misunderstanding between those two elements and there can be with water signs uh if you're dealing with a water sign uh mother or mother figure maybe it's a mother-in-law um there can be manipulation trying to have you like give them the bulk of your time and things like that and then feeling hurt when you try to assert yourself and so finally you have to set boundaries and then stick to them um the higher message as the two of pentacles actually the two of pentacles can even be something if this is yeah the the queen of cups could even be like a female boss and the two of pentacles can be time to get another job time to you know get a side job so that you have something if you feel like you have to quit so that you're not left high and dry so it might be that you have to start something else you know two of pentacles can be doing two things at once um and even this card is dualistic this card is connected to gemini the lover's card and it can be of course it could be lovers but it can also be a choice that you have to make and so 
Whenever you see twos, they can also indicate a choice. Um, now, this is, this, I, I feel like, you know, because this is in the challenge position, I feel like there might even be a situation, I was going to say infidelity, um, but I don't know, to me, I guess it is infidelity regardless, but to me, when I think of infidelity, I think of the person doesn't know that they're being cheated on, but that's silly. Of course, it, you can, you can, uh, you know, still be cheating on someone and they can be well aware of it. But that's another thing when you get twos, there could be two um, other, usually, you know, you, you see like threes. So that's like a three party situation, but twos can be it as well. And it could be like you have two part, juggling two people or that the other person is juggling two people. The, the Queen of Cups, to me, is like the minor kind of version of the High Priestess. And it can be this influence of knowing, like tuning in psychically to something, but you don't quite know the whole story. You just kind of feel like something isn't right. Um, maybe someone is not being straight with you they could be cheating. Um, and, or maybe you're, you're cheating, but I just feel like with the nine of wands that it has something to do with somebody else because you're laying down the law. So I don't know if any of that is correct, but with the lovers in the challenge position, there's something not okay about this coupling. It's not working out on some level. What's coming in is the Knight of Swords. This can be a card of um, changes on their way, like whatever your situation is, it's changing. Maybe it's changing rapidly. And another possibility is somebody is on the run again. So this is what I'm kind of referring to. This guy can be somebody who's commitment phobic and they may be somebody who comes in and out of your life. Um, they're not somebody who's ready to settle down. They may have emotional issues that they're not dealing with. And so it might be easier for them just to have a bunch of affairs. Um, and then kind of bail ghost the person even. And so you have to be, if this is another person that you're dealing with, and by the way, swords are, uh, could, the knight of swords could be a, a younger adult male air sign. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I, I don't, I wouldn't look at chronological age with the different, um, with the knights and the kings and all that, because I feel like, um, and queens, I feel like, yes, it can be a, a person position of authority, but it can also be, you know, if somebody is a knight, they might be somebody who's older, but they're immature or on the positive side, interpreting it, they're very young in spirit. The outcome is the four of pentacles. This is a card. You see her clutching her coin purse. This is a card of financial uh, security and maybe protection. So it really strikes me that there might have even been financial exploitation involved in this. And maybe that's where the boundaries, um, you know, had to come into play. So somebody that you were involved with, and this does happen with, I think, Aries and, and uh, Leos in particular, where they are very generous financially and they open the door to people who are takers, who are not really interested in a relationship. They're 
um, grifters, that kind of thing. And therefore it's really important to reclaim, you know, control over your life. If you're dealing with somebody like that, because they can, they can wreak havoc on your life and that that's not okay. You know, you deserve to be happy. You deserve to have respect and to be with somebody who is, you know, not going to deceive you, cheat you, whatever. So anyway, that's what I have for you, Aries. I hope that this resonated. If you would like a personal reading, astrological or tarot or both, you can check the link below. Thanks for watching. Bye.